Oh, hello. We're actually recording. Hi, guys. So, my name's Cherry, and this is my first ever vlog. So, I thought I'd tell you a bit about my life, because this last year's been so mad and crazy. I feel sometimes I can't even keep it all in my head, you know. Anyway, I'm 13, nearly 14, and my mum was Japanese, as you can probably tell by my hair. And I say she was, because she died when I was little. And I know it was, like, forever ago, but I still miss her. You know, if that makes any sense. I've got a parasol and kimono from her that I'm going to keep forever. Can you see? I put them up in my new room so every day is a little bit of air in it. Dad's in his room too. Well, not actually. He's in his workshop, obviously. But he painted the walls and sanded the floorboards and he even made me a cool clothes rail out of a broom handle. And um, I even clipped a picture of my boyfriend's share to my dressing table mirror so I can see him all the time too. I love my new room. It's the best. It's about a million miles away from my old room in Glasgow, I swear. I love the sloping walls and the little windows. If you stand right on your tiptoes, there's even a view of the sea in the distance. Before, when Dad and I first came here to live in Somerset, I was living in the world's most brilliant gypsy caravan under the cherry trees in the garden outside, which is a pretty awesome summer location. But when it started getting cold though, we decided it would be better if I moved here, into the attic. I miss holding in the caravan with the others, but it's way warmer in here, and actually, I get just as many visitors. My twin stepsisters love coming up here to tell me their worries all the time. They're called Sky in summer and they're nearly 13. My little stepsister Coco loves climbing the ladder too. She loves discussing the world's issues. I share she's gonna save the world one conservation issue at a time. She's 11, and she's the kindest person I know. To be honest, I was nervous about moving down here. Dad falling in love again. Scared at night. And four new stepsisters. Mad. You know, I was thinking, what if they didn't like me? What if I had to move all the way down here, leave everything behind in Glasgow, Dad had started a new business, and they didn't even want to talk to me? But it's all right. I love my stepsisters, and I love that they come and invade my space here. So, it's just honey that that doesn't come up here. She's just a complicated person and you don't know how horrendous I felt when I realised I had feelings for the gas she used to go out with. That's Cher by the way. Cher's pretty amazing and he sings and plays guitar and I'm so glad he's in my life. I can't help wondering if things would be better with Honey though if he hadn't been involved. Well, maybe not. Honey's just so unpredictable. Yes, please. I never say no to what chocolate. Actually, I never say no to anything chocolate, which reminds me why I'm a little nervous about this whole vlogging thing. I mean, I think you guys might actually hate me when you realize what I do most days. I mean it. You guys really don't want to know that most days I have the most terrible job of helping my dad with his business. And why would you hate me just a little for that? Because my dad makes chocolates. Oh yes, amazing chocolates. And me and Coco achieve tasters. Seriously, best job in the world. Right now, he's trying to decide which is better. Sort of caramel and dark chocolate? Or sort of caramel and white chocolate? Tough job, right? But I bet he hasn't thought of <laughs> salty chocolate and white chocolate together. <laughs> See you guys next time.